Welcome friends, uh, welcome to another ice cream episode. Have you ever had the cereal milk ice cream from Mama Fuko? Um, if you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's absolutely wonderful. So, um, I was reminded of it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Jules and I stopped into a place that we normally go to and they had it on the menu. They had their own version on the menu. So I looked up the recipe online. Mama Fuko has published it. Um, it's Christina Tosi's recipe anyway for Mama Fuko milk bar. And it's a great recipe. It uses all kinds of things to make sure that you get a really nice creamy texture. I wondered uh, if we could simplify it and use a couple of methods that, uh, that people have already in their kitchen instead of using gelatin that you have to bloom and uh, a couple of other things. So in this jug, I've put 35% cream and uh, about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And you don't have to be exact with your measurement. About two tablespoons is fine. And you want that acid in the apple cider vinegar to start to curdle the cream, to thicken it up. Um, that's really going to help with the texture down the road. Now, I'm going to use Fruit Loops um, because Fruit Loops is something that I was never allowed to have as a child. And I think I really like the flavor of Fruit Loops. If I could have gotten Apple Jacks, I would be using Apple Jacks, but you can't buy them here in Canada anymore. Um, they're gone from the marketplace. Maybe you can still get them in the States. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you can still get Apple Jacks. And I put those into the blender, and into the blender I'm going to put about a cup of whole milk. Uh, put that in. And we're just going to blend those together. The idea is... The idea in the original recipe is that you're supposed to steep the cereal in the milk and then strain out the cereal, um, just leaving the flavor in the milk. <sighs> I don't have time some days, so let's do it this way. Okay, so I've got a super fine mesh strainer here, and we are going to strain this into the cream mixture. And straining it, it's going to take a while. It's pretty thick. We just want to get the, the gritty bits out. And just use a spatula if you need to. Okay, next in is a can of sweetened condensed milk. And so this is all of the sugar that this recipe needs, but it's also a certain kind of sugar that will help us with the texture, give us a really nice, smooth texture. So once I get this in, I'm just gonna give it a whisk, to bring it all together. Okay, the ice cream machine is chilled, so in goes the batter. Okay, it's done. Off goes the music. Uh, and here we go. So just like every other ice cream recipe that we've made, uh, this is pretty much soft serve, and you need to pull it out and stick it in the freezer to firm up if you want a stiffer ice cream. So I've got a, uh, I've got a plastic container that I'm gonna put it in. If you're putting it into a glass or ceramic dish, um, pre-freeze that so that you don't get any melting when you put the batter in, or the, I guess at this point it's ice cream. So I'll clean up the dasher and then pull the ice cream out of the bowl. And if anyone from Breville is watching this video, um, you really could have made the handle on this scoop a little bit longer. It would make it so much easier to operate. Okay, so ice cream's in here. I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for a couple hours and then we'll give it a taste. So Glenn, you have made something. Oh, I see loops. a box of Fruit Loops. I so know. I'm a little thrown. I'm, I, I was expecting, you know, like Fruit Loops squares, but you're going in nope. the freezer. I'm going in the freezer. This is cereal milk ice cream. Ah. Yeah. That's interesting because there's, there's, um, 
you're not really a cereal eater, but there's people who love cereal milk and people who hate cereal milk. Yeah, I am. I love cereal milk, but I am not a cereal eater. I don't. Um, so, when I was, fruit, so you made this with Fruit Loop cereal milk? Yes. Well, sort of. I didn't actually. Yeah, I cheated. You didn't eat the cereal? Well, there's a great recipe by Momofuku that's available online. They came up with this, and I'm going to try that next. But I thought, I, can I find a shortcut? Can I use one of the ice creams we already make and infuse that flavor? It's got that Fruit Loopy flavor. It's definitely got the Fruit Loop flavor, flavor to it. It's quite, uh, yeah. quite lovely. Yeah. So the, the flavor's in there. I'm in. The flavor's in. I, See, now, it is a very subtle flavor, and I think that's what it's supposed to be because it's just what's left over in the milk. Mm -hmm. But it's got that distinct citrusy Fruit Loop flavor yeah. to it. Now, look, the color is, you know, kind of... Not Fruit Loopy. Not Fruit Loopy. <laughs> it is and not I, a rainbow of color. And I realized later, what I could have done is sift through the box like I would have done in my commercial days. To find all the perfect ones? Well, find all of the ones from one color and only do the... the the red one or the yellow one to get the uh, the right flavor because when you put it all together it's just it's just brown but that's just a minor quibble that's a visual thing versus the flavor mm -hmm. i suspect it wouldn't taste a whole lot different no because i think they all taste the same don't they i don't, I don't know i was never Maybe allowed, that's... i was never allowed to eat it as a child no we always had puffed wheat <laughs> was, we, had, we had puffed it... wheat or 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 um Chopped oats. So Fruit Loops was one of those cereals that when you were getting with, together with your friends, you're mm -hmm. finally old enough to go somewhere with your friends mm -hmm. for a weekend that was like, we're buying cereal, we're getting Fruit Loops. Apple Jacks. I really wanted Apple Jacks. Just no. not possible. So this is fantastic. I think as a shortcut versus the Mama Fuko recipe, which isn't that difficult, but you do need glucose syrup and it uses uh, sheets of gelatin, and it's a little bit longer, takes, a, you know. I, I would guess, though, that it was probably pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. But, yeah. you know, I, yeah. I'm in for this, so. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, um, any flavored cereal you want, maybe even Lucky Charms. Make yourself happy. Yeah. Um, Relive your childhood. Yeah, any cereal you want. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.